Hey guys, welcome back to Plugin Spotlight. We are on week four now, and today we are going to go over TDR Feedback Compressor. So, um, first, I guess I should talk a little bit about this plugin and kind of how it works. Um, once again, you can hear my parakeets back there in the background. I apologize for that. But there's not much I can do about them. Um, so, a feedback compressor. Uh, most of us uh, are familiar with a feed forward compressor. Uh, we that's pretty much every single compressor we've ever used or ever seen. But what, what does a feedback compressor do? Well, to, to kind of figure out what's going on, we need to sort of look at things right here real quick. So let's say we have a signal right here, okay? And um, basically, the signal is going to be going into your compressor, right? So as this is going through, a, a feed forward compressor is going to detect the level as it's going through, and it's going to act on that and compress it, right? It's very simple. Um, but a feedback compressor is a little bit different. If we got a feedback compressor, um, the signal is going to go through, and the detector is going to detect the signal, and it's going to compress it just as a feed forward compressor would. But whenever it's done, it's going to output the signal and then send it back into the compressor. And it's going to use the information it's got from what it's already done, and it's going to it's going to change the way it compresses. It sort of learns from what it's doing, and. Um, this makes for a very interesting compressor, and this, this TDR feedback compressor is very smooth. It also has two release times because of the way this works. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to put this on, uh, I believe this is our guitar tracks here. Or where, where are our guitar tracks on this? Okay, so we got these two right here. I'm going to send them to a bus, and we're going we're to put the uh, TDR feedback compressor on them. Oops. Okay, so we got this loaded up here. Another thing I want to uh, say about this compressor is the GUI on it looks amazing. Um, you don't really get this kind of quality with uh, most of your uh, free plugins. But they, they really went the extra mile on this thing. So um, we look at it here. We got our threshold. We got uh, attack and release time. This is a regular release time. And then we got this uh, release RMS. So we have two different uh, release times here. And uh, this, this uh, makes for some really interesting uh, effects. Uh, we got ratio here, which I, um, just kind of depends on what you're compressing. You know, higher ratio, ratio the more it's going to compress. Um, and then we got the peak crest and soft knee. I don't really know, honestly, what peak crest does. But uh, soft knee, basically, uh, it adjusts, um, how would you say it, the, the shape that um, the shape of the, like if you were to look on the graph, that the way that a uh, compressor compresses, a, a soft knee would sort of uh, ease its way into that compression rather than a hard knee, which would just act, act right away, uh, clamp down on it. Um, so th these are the basic... Uh, the basics uh, uh, knobs on this we got makeup gain here uh, you can you can set it to uh, if you want like completely dry mix or completely wet or mix of the two so if you want to do uh, parallel compression you can do that uh, you got um, I, I thought that was a oh never mind I thought that was a bypass knob right there and then this this right here uh, at the bottom shows you your output gain and that's about it for this um, there's there's some other stuff to uh, look into but these are the basics this is a pretty pretty complicated plugin but uh, whenever I use this, I usually just uh, leave everything almost default and adjust the threshold. So um, I want you guys to hear how transparent this is. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on these guitars, and I'm going to bring the threshold down. Okay, so uh, if you'll watch over here on the gain reduction, you'll see that um, the, these uh, different release times, um, you can actually see them kind of uh, happening. Uh, you'll see like it releases really fast, and then it slows down once it gets down here towards the end. See that? Um, that, that slow release is the RMS. Um, 
if you decide to get this plugin, I highly advise downloading the uh, the uh, PDF that goes with it, the instruction manual, and looking through that because there's a lot to this plugin, and uh, it's really capable of some awesome things. But like I said, these these are uh, this is very simple the way I have this set up right now. Uh, you can set it to limit instead of uh, just being a compressor. But um, that's about it that I'm going to cover with this plugin. Uh, I really love this thing. I use it all the time, especially on vocals. And uh, I hope I covered this well. Um, I know I sound a little, uh, a little frantic with this one. It's because there's just so much to go over with this plugin, and it's very complicated. The the stuff going on in the background of this thing. But um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you next week for Plugin Spotlight. Um, have a good day. Peace.